Hi, in this demo we'll quickly look at how to visualize heat maps in R. Heat maps are a great way to visualize different set of variables in a data set. If you have a data set with too many variables and heat maps comes in handy to, to identify different patterns that might exist with different set of variables in that data set. Let's say if we have a variable n and it has 100 different values for that variable. So each variable will represent a unique color in our heat map. Here uh, we draw a heat map for a, a data set called empty cars with different car models on one axis and different numerical attributes which are specifications of those cars in another axis. By this way, we can quickly visualize all these uh, variables across these models in just one graph. This becomes very difficult if you use like a um, histogram or you know a scatter plot and you know any other line graphs. It makes impossible uh, to draw this graph or identify these attributes visually. So let's see how we can draw this graph. So as I just mentioned, we used a data set called empty cars, you know, which has um, different specifications or different car models. So the one of the important aspects of the, you know, drawing a heat map is that we need to have proper row names and column names for our data set. So if you look at the row names um, of this data set, You know uh, the different car models are our row names and if I look at the column names of this data set the different specifications are the variables the numerical variables or uh, attributes for this data set mileage per gallon number of cylinders displacement and hours powers and and some other things so for this uh, uh, plot we are going to need a function called or a plotting function called heat map so this accept, accepts uh, the input data set as a matrix. So in our um, scenario, empty cars is a data frame. So we need to convert the data frame to a matrix by using a function called A's matrix. And we'll supply the empty cars into this. The next thing we need is, is how we are going to scale this graph. We are going to scale uh, across uh, the different columns. For example, we want to draw um, the heat map for the mileage per gallon, for cylinder and, and, you know, uh, and represent each numerical value in these columns into a different color. So we are going to scale across column. The, and the next important thing is the color. So we are going to use a, a heat uh, palette, color, color palette. Um, so in this case we are going to use 256 colors. So you can quickly look at this uh, palette uh, by typing in R heat dot colors. So it, it's it's like a a set of colors that will be drawn you know in our case like a light yellow color to a dark uh, golden color so that we can quickly um, uh, use this palette to represent uh, our numerical values in these columns or variables the next thing is the the main title of this plot so here it's going to be uh, characteristics of car models and uh, two other important things that we need to uh, specify is uh, that we don't want to draw the dendrogram for this graph so we're going to specify na and you know these are the minimum set of parameters that we require to draw the heat map so let's quickly run this in our R session So here is the heat map that I just mentioned before, you know, um, we, we drew this graph using simple uh, plotting function called heat map and passing some different um, simple parameters. 
and I, I quickly mentioned that we do not want to draw the dendrogram for this graph. Um, it, it makes sense to um, draw the dendrogram for the uh, for the rows uh, because let's say we want to categorize these um, uh, different car models into you know different categories based on these numerical variables. Let's see if um, if we can just use the um, you know this set of parameters by making it uh, to draw a dendrogram on based on rows by default uh, the dendrogram uses a clustering function and it uses a distance vector um, in this in our case it uses Euclidean distance to calculate the distance between the set of variables and uh, that will allow it to create a tree diagram between these numerical attributes so you can see here you know it it it, cat it automatically categorized these car models into different categories on the left side um, that's how you draw like a tree diagram or a heat map